In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate this first Friday of Lent in asking forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, show gracious favor to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them Please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. In this the manner of fasting I wish of keeping a day of penance. Let a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes. Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. 
the verse before the gospel. Seek good and not evil so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory the disciples of John the Baptist approached Jesus and asked, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. If you're here on Ash Wednesday, you may have remember I talked about fasting a little bit, sometimes fasting from food, sometimes fasting from our screens. And today the prophet Isaiah gives us another slant on how we can fast. He says, this rather is the fast that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke. So a great question for us to ask ourselves as we are in these very first days of Lent, what would it mean to release those bound unjustly untying the thongs of the yoke? Who are those that we in this church might bind unjustly? And I think of the people that we might be unwilling to forgive. Oftentimes, children, even as children turn into adults, carry sort of a, an anger, an unforgiveness towards their parents, too strict, not loving enough, not being attentive enough, not getting the teddy bear I wanted spanking too hard and we remember those things and we sort of leave our parents you know sort of bound in anger and unforgiveness not as much love or appreciation as they might hold and sometimes as you become parents yourself you begin to say ah now that makes sense, why mom did that, why did dad did that. And sometimes even as parents, we don't appreciate all the things our parents do. And we, our, our personalities grow because of our, that little anger we have. So think of some people you might be angry at, maybe some people you've buried and don't even think of, they're long gone but yet that edge of unforgiveness lingers on and it sort of flavors the way we treat others. And the beautiful thing is, as we unbind those we unjustly bound, especially emotionally, uh, we free ourselves. We become freer to love, freer to laugh, freer to live our lives as God desires people of joy and gladness. So once again, as I mentioned earlier in the week, may we spend this time after communion, we have that moment of silence, really ask God to place in our minds and heart, is there anyone I am holding bound by my anger, by my unforgiveness, by my unwillingness to let go maybe some unjust act done to me. But the more we hold on to that injustice or that anger or that hurt, the more we are bound. They are long gone oftentimes, maybe already in the glory of heaven, 
and yet we are holding them bound by our negativity. Jesus comes to set us free by the forgiveness of our sins. May we too set free those who we hold bound by our unwillingness to love and to forgive. So we rise and let us pray. That during this holy season, God may purify the church and protect all her members from temptation and sin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide those who control natural and monetary resources to use them equitably within their community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who are weighed down by the burden of sin may be drawn into the light of forgiveness and peace through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That in our Lenten observances, our community of faith may receive the grace and courage to give renewed witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in the light of faith may come to live in the eternal light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased Stephanie Wick, for whom this mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, increase our love and mercy of you and others. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it would become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for by your gracious gift, each year your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, 
in participating in the mysteries by which we have been reborn, we may be led to the fullness of life that you bestow on your sons and daughters. With angels and saints, we give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion, we ask through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and errors of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Sorrows, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine.